here is the Curo L7 cholesterol test kit and what comes in it you got you got the capillary tubes they call them easy easy tube here's the book uh, it comes with a, a test a test strip this is when you're doing the test uh, this is without blood without any testing solution and it, it, it comes with with 10 of the lipid profile and then it, and then it comes with uh, with 10 uh, the finger stickers and here's the unit itself and it has a door here here is the chip that goes in there it just pushes in right and the box is supposed to have that same number on it the code all right you see the code 127, here's 127, right there, okay, and it goes in there, has to be in there, each box comes with its own code, alright, and I'm going to show you the software, how to get the software, the software which, which will print out the stuff, like this. I printed this. I'm going to show you now. Alright. I'm going to open the strip. There's the test strip. As the side goes up, I'm going to take the, the alcohol First, I'm going to rub my fingers. Get a little circulation in the, in the finger. Now, now I do this a lot because I have, uh, I have type 2 diabetes. So, I'm going to use this finger. And wipe it off. Okay, now you you twist this ninety degrees, and it's the red portion that goes to the finger. <clears throat> I'm going to squeeze it. Push this hard in. Push it in hard against the skin. Okay, now you get a nice drop of blood. And you gotta keep squeezing it. Keep squeezing it. All right, you hit the hit the uh, the black. You hit the black just now. All right, so now I'm going to put this in the machine. Open this door. I open the door. Like it says. 
and then you you put the blood in. Right in this area here. Squeeze the bulb. Get all the blood. Got to get it all out. And then you close the door. And then the machine starts to count down. Starts counting down. It takes three minutes. Okay, so the, f the first reading is total cholesterol, and you press this button, triglycerides, that's high today, 120. HDL. 60 LDL 84 this is the ratio LDL slash HDL is 1.40 okay this is a ratio Total cholesterol by HDL 2.80. Non HDL 108. And back to total cholesterol. All right. Then you could take the uh, you take the strip out like that. You put all your stuff, get rid of all your stuff. Pull it out properly. All right, now I'm going to show you about the software. Uh, here's, here's a printout. Here's a printout from yesterday. That's just let it print out. Got my name. Male, 81 years old. Date of birth. My weight, right now 204. Pretty cool. And then I'm going to show you how to go on the website. Now the book does not say, the manual does not say about downloading any kind of software. It does show you that there's a printer port in the back. Printer port. You pick this up, you turn it, and there's and there's the printer port right there. You know, you need a cable for it. Just a cable. One end is USB. You know, on the other end is goes into there and this goes into your computer okay stand by hi right, this is Vince Akuri I want to show you how to get the software you type in at the at the uh, the search bar Q 
purofit.com. And the fact that I own own the analyzer, I, I, uh, I signed in, created a dashboard. Now, if you look, if you look down here, there is an app for a phone, but what I was concerned with is this, left click on this, all right, and then <clears throat> you download this, And what that is, uh, is a, uh, it's a PDF. And then you download the installer over here. Now, the fact that I downloaded them already, I come down here, I open up my folders. I left click on downloads. All right, and here, here's the manual. And here's the setup. And what I did was I opened up, uh, I opened up the folder. You know, you, you know, you left click, and and you could uh, extract here or extract files. And I wound up uh, with this. Uh, if you see uh, MSV 3.0.2. All right, that's the installation folder. And uh, here's the manual. I'm going to left click on the manual. And, and here's, the, here's the manual. It has 26 pages. 26 pages. And it shows you how to install the software. Now, what I found with this is that I had to, I had to uh, try to install it twice and uh, I had to restart my computer. I did it twice until I got it to actually work. Okay, so once you got it working, it will load here. And then if you, if you left click, It opens up, and uh, you could hook your analyzer to it. Now, if you if you go to da um, a data view, you left click a data view. All right, it'll give you this. Now, this is what I uh, I downloaded into software yesterday. Okay, you got my name, total cholesterol. Triglycerides, HDL, LDL, non-HDL, right? And if you left-click on this twice, just say, okay, it opens this up. You put your name in. Now, for some reason, it's not holding. I tried this several times. My date of birth is is 1918, 1940. Uh, you know, my height is five foot. I just say nine or ten inches. My weight was 204, and it seems to default to this. Now, I was able to put the name of my hospital in and the test date, which was yesterday. And here are the numbers, right? Now, anything you change here, just say I put a five in. All right. Uh, just say, just say I put a, I put a ten here. Now, uh, and two or four, and this just put a zero here. And then you're supposed to go here. And left click, patient information changes it successfully. All right. And uh, for some reason, it didn't seem to stay. 
Now you could click on this, or you click on this one here. All right, you click on this, and then you can go to settings. Here's the basic settings. I put the hospital in. Uh, th this doesn't seem to stay. I like month, day, and year. That's what I like. Milligram, feet, inch, pounds. You know, and then you're supposed to click save up here. All right. And for some reason, certain things don't stay. Now, now there, there, there's a way. There's a way to print this. Uh, for some reason, there's a way to print it. Okay. With this page, <clears throat> with this page open, you come here to the to where you see the magnifying glass, and you left click, and it opens this. All right. Then what I do is usually I maximize it, and then I come over here and I click on whole page. All right. And then you come up to the printer. You left click, and that's you could hear my printer going on. See, my printer is going on. So that's basically. Hey, you see, you see this date for some reason. It's uh, coming up wrong. And of course, the height's wrong, and this. But other than that. I don't I don't worry about that. All right, so that's what I wanted to show you guys. See? You open it over here. And left click. Double click on the bar. And you click on the look up there and then you hit the whole page and you get this <clears throat> you hit the printer and it prints okay all right guys thought I'd share that and one more thing that might be that might be important you know bothered me initially okay now, you see, you got a date of manufacture, and then you got an expiration date. So my question was, year, month, day? So what I did was I looked up, and in Korea, this stuff's made, it's year, month, and date. All right, so that's what you're looking at when you see that. Vince Curian, I thank you for watching.